Sunshine Network proudly presents University of Miami Hurricanes football. Third-ranked Miami is back in the national championship picture. And this afternoon, the Hurricanes back at the Orange Bowl, where they have won 55 games in a row. It's a Big East football battle today. 7-1 Miami against 4-5 and five Rutgers. The Scarlet Knights have lost three in a row and five of their last seven. This could be a long day for them. Darrell Willis to the left, Bailey to the right, and Scott Barnwell, the senior from Hollywood, Florida, gets us underway. And this is the redshirt freshman, Terrell Willis, from the 10. And Willis to the 30-yard line. That's where Rutgers will take over. And right now, with Brian Forte injured, he is firmly the number one quarterback for Rutgers. You saw Carlos Jones being helped off for Miami. On first down, big running room for Bruce Presley, the 215-pound sophomore. Second down. Bailey one. Presley, Brantley the leading receiver, and Battaglia, a good tight end, just a sophomore. Damon and Vaughn, your most experienced offensive linemen at the tackle spots. Second down and one for Rutgers. Brantley in motion. And again, Presley, he has the first down. Miami uh, has got to stay focused defensively. They've got to come out. They might be thinking a little bit more about that sack record instead of stopping the run. And to get that sack record, they've got to stop the run on first and second down and force them into a passing situation where those defensive linemen can come after the quarterback. Right now, Earl Little in for Terrace Harris at free safety. On first down, again, Rutgers stays on the ground. This time it's Bill Bailey. Second down and seven. And Ray Lucas with Willis and Presley bookending him out of the shotgun. Lucas the roll being chased and finally going down Earl Little three straight losses for Ray Lucas and Rutgers and the third down and six deep drop they set the screen up and Presley juggled it and then finally drops it that could be a fumble now they rule it an incomplete pass a Miami 16 yard line plenty of time as Sheremetta hangs it high fair catch called for by German and he will watch it bounce inside the 20 and down to the 17 yard line and he takes over first and 10 their own 17 yard line the sophomore Ryan Collins to Donnell Bennett and he will lose two back at the 15 yard line so Ryan Collins a sophomore out of Pembroke Pines Ilea Miami Lakes High School and nine touchdowns five interceptions and he has also rushed for three touchdowns second and a dozen for Miami at their own 15. Collins shoots it out, complete to James Stewart. And he will lose two yards back to the 13-yard line. And Larry Jones, Donnell Bennett, Chris T. Jones, the leading receiver. Dietrich Clausel, the tight end, in place of an injured Sae Tucker. Perry and Lemelski, the tackles. Tyrell Green playing despite a sore shoulder. That and that's the type of defense they must play today if they're going to be competitive. From the 14-yard line, third and 13 for Ryan Collins. Under pressure, threw it as he was decked. Number 12. Chris Brantley looking to run under it. He backpedals and takes it at the 38. Brantley gets outside. And penalty markers fly. Brantley stepped out of bounds. Illegal block above the waist. The illegal back block on the against return. the Scarlet Knights. But first down and 10 for Rutgers. And the give is to Bruce Presley. And he gets to the 34-yard line. Bailey in the slot, and the deep back is Presley. This is Presley. He goes straight ahead to the 38-yard line. And a pinched nerve in his neck. Let's see what Lucas has in store on third down and five. This is Presley again. And he has the first down. First and ten for the Rutgers, 45. And Willis met behind the line of scrimmage of the Big Bear. Warren Sapp, number 76. Second possession for Rutgers. We see the quarterback, Ray Lucas, out of the shotgun. And Willis bobbed down and stopped. They're on pace to tie the record and possibly break it. Third down and 10. Lucas out of the roll, being pursued by Patrick. Flips it complete to the Miami 45-yard line. Mario Henry making the lunging catch. Well, the Scarlet Knights with a couple of first downs picked up. 7.20 left in a scoreless first quarter. This is Terrell Willis swinging it left and getting bumped out of bounds after a three-yard pickup in Miami territory at the 43-yard line. Lucas 
Just in time and incomplete. Intended for the tight end. But third and eight. Lucas to throw. Lucas away from Sapp. Could not get away from Rohan Marley. Marley, the sophomore receiver. Low snap. Sharameta gets it away. German on the run at the nine, and he is smothered. Penalty marker down. German initially appeared to give the fair catch sign. Looking for a favorite receiver, relying on one guy, and last week was a great indication of that, but even more so, Ryan Collins has put the big play back in the offense. Something at the Miami 31 yard line. Right over the bottom of your picture is Ray Lucas. All signals for Rutgers. Presley straight ahead. Brought down by Kenny Holmes in there now. Second down and five now for Rutgers. Again, Presley's number gets called. He slashes his way to the Miami 22-yard line. Third less than a yard as Ray Lucas ducks in. And he calls his own number and moves straight forward and should have the distance. That's all they're talking about on the sideline. Back up to you guys. First and ten, Terrell Willis ripping through the Miami defense. He gets to the seven-yard line. Five really getting the job done, but wait a minute. A holding. Miami had it three plays, and then were forced to punt. First down and 17 for the Scarlet Knights. They give it to Willis again. Not much this time for Terrell Willis. And he fumbled the football. Terrell Willis a big pile up and he doesn't get much perhaps back to the line of scrimmage passes back and doing the job 15th play of his Rutgers drive third and 22 Ray Lucas fires has his man but caught out of bounds I'm there 22 will aim it high the wind gets a hold of it and this will be an awful punt statistically as it bounces back as the Canes start off at their own 26 this is Bennett, the junior from Fort Lauderdale, and he gets just a yard. And handling that Miami front line. Andrew Beckett stand out at nose tackle. Linebackers an inexperienced group except for Jameel Jackson and Bob Sneathan on the right side. And the secondary has been decimated by injuries. Earl Simmons was a wide receiver until a week ago. Second down and nine. Collins out of the shotgun. Quick flip. Jonathan Harris, but Harris does not hold on. Again, Collins out of the shotgun. Four receivers available to him. And he finds Donnell Bennett. Penalty marker down, and Bennett kept away from the first down chain. Up at there for the home club. Nice punt. Brantley from his 19-yard line. It's one block. Has some room. And Brantley finally roped down at the 36-yard line. Outkick the coverage, and uh, Miami didn't do a good job of getting down and, and coming down with the... Uh... But Taglia in the tight slot, and this is Bruce Presley cutting it back and coming straight in to James Burgess. Second down and eight. Eddie Walker in motion. Again, Presley up the middle, big hole, good run to the 40-yard line. After six 100-yard games rushing, and he's off to a good start today. Third down, a long one, and Lucas looking to throw, has his man, and he has a first down. Bill Bailey catching it, knock it down. From the Miami 35 on first down, Terrell Willis cuts it back up the middle. Gains three yards, and that is the end of the first quarter. Doug Graber is the coach that's pleased through one, even though we are scoreless, is Rutgers Scarlet Knights in control play. Scarlet Knights ran 25 plays in the first quarter. Miami just six. On second and seven, penalty marker down, and they will blow this play dead. You're, you're looking and at coach, uh, coach. playing a team you oh, should yeah. blow out. You should have Eddie Walker to the left. Henry to the right. You see Willis in motion on second and a dozen. Bill Bailey gets the give. As the sophomore Ray Lucas takes a look out of the shotgun. Penalty marker down. And Brantley on the illegal, illegal procedure against on Rutgers. We're 10 of 14 on his field goals last year. Just 3 of 10 this year. Out of the hold of Brian Forte. This will be a 52-yard kick with a wind at his back. 
and he gets it. John Benestad nailing a 52-yard field goal, and Rutgers on the scoreboard first. This will be Siegler from the eight. And Siegler brought down at the 27-yard line. And so you have to take your heads off to the, Ruck to the Rutgers. Ryan Collins on first down, shoots it complete to Donnell Bennett, who stumbles forward from left to right, top of your screen. Chris T. Jones, A.C. Tellison, and Marcus Wimberlin. But going nowhere goes the running back. And they have not been able to run with the football because Rutgers are, are blitzing those linebackers, getting people in the hole. And third down and two. Pass broken up, intended for Donnell Bennett. Clean. Against the win, Chrissy will hit it from his 25. Brantley watches it bounce. And Marcus Carey will touch it down. And a three to nothing lead. And look at those numbers. My goodness. Bruce Presley has done most of the rushing work for Rutgers here in the first half. Second down and eight. Again, Presley up the middle. Ray Lewis and Warren Sapp in on the stops. Anchoring that defense for the Hurricanes. Third and seven. The Hurricanes looking for a big play. Marley with a near sack. And Lewis with tight coverage. Well, in the first half, Sheremetta will hit it from his 16. Nice boot. German. And a sprint back to the 20 to get it. Now he's got some room. Andy German looking to break it back. Cannot get away. Ryan Collins, 3 of 5 for 15 yards. This is Donnell Bennett and gingerly coming to the line of scrimmage. And in the last three weeks, Rutgers has surrendered nearly 43 points again. Second down and nine. Collins overthrows Jamie German too high. And so Collins can make it happen, and the Hurricanes hope he does on third and nine. Collins has time. Now forced out of the pocket. He'll try and run for the first down. And he gets it. Collins across midfield for the first time today. So Ryan Collins advancing it for Miami's first first down today. Picked up nearly 20 yards. James Stewart breaks a tackle. Look at him go. Down the sideline. 49-yard touchdown for James Stewart and Miami. That's the big play that the Hurricanes have been waiting for. James Stewart showed you his ability and his speed as he jumped over the pile and then turned on the afterburner. Right there as he went the distance for the six. And Dan Pruitt pops in the extra point. He's made 71 of 72 point afters in his Miami career. Big rumble for James Stewart. Miami in front for the first time. We'll be right back. Gain their first first down and their first points. 10 07 to play, second quarter. This is Terrell Willis, number 31, following Bill Bailey. Nice spinning run up to the 36 yard line. Rutgers starts from their own 36, and Willis gets just a couple. Maybe it's going to be excited and uh, come across the ball and make big plays for you. Number 38, second and eight. And Willis spinning with Juan Russell holding on to the 42 yard line. Third down, four. Lucas looking, has his man, and a first down. Mario Henry at the 49. Five out of seven, but they've played very sound football so far in the first half, which has 8.20 left in it. Terrell Willis. Not much room, but he peeks into Miami territory. Like a lock to be the Big East freshman of the year. Second down, long eight. The give to Willis, and he will lose a yard back to the Miami 49-yard line with seven minutes left in the second quarter. Lucas looking deep for Henry. Incomplete. Holden on the offense. Against Rutgers. Sheremetta should get all of it. does bounce into the end zone. A hurricane sideline. On first and ten, Collins with plenty of time to find somebody, and he does. This is Gerard Daphnis, the tight end, and he gets it to the 33-yard line. Bringing down Daphnis after the 14-yard game. That should be pass interference. You get the flags coming in late. Being a completion with the pass interference. On the defense. Kings had just five yards of offense after one quarter. Danny German and Marcus Wimberly to the right. 
A.C. Tellison to the bottom of your picture. On first down, Donnell Bennett doesn't get a thing. Oh, now he does move forward to the 45-yard line. Good. It was a five-yard gain. Brings up a second and five. With five and a half minutes left in our first half. Ryan Collins on the roll, going deep for Tellison. Makes the catch. Touchdown, Miami. But this one should stand up out of Mike Chrissy's hole. And he misses. Wide to the right. So timeout on the field with 521 left in the second quarter. 13 to 3. Miami in front. Scott Barnwell, the kick at two, Terrell Willis or Bill Bailey. And this is Willis, five yards deep in the end zone. They had to play all their home games this year at the Meadowlands. And that is hardly a home field advantage for them. They don't draw well. The Meadowlands 45 minutes from their campus. Involved in this offense. Back up to you guys. On second and ten, Lucas out of the shotgun. Has a man at the 25-yard line. Third and five with four minutes left in the first half. Well, Lucas being chased. Has another first down game. Lance Avina, a junior. Up from their own 36. First and ten for Rutgers. Lucas on play action, smashed as he threw the football, incomplete for Brantley at Rutgers. 3.26 left here in the second quarter. And uh, Warren Sapp again, quick to the ball carrier for breaking a promise that he'd be the starting quarterback. Give me a break. That's unheard of. Terrell Willis into the secondary. First down, plenty more, and look at Willis go. Great run for Terrell Willis. The redshirt freshman finally broke out of the barn door. Terrell Willis on first down. Presley up the middle to the five-yard line. The Scarlet Knights at the Miami Five with a minute 38 left in the second quarter. Lucas looking for Bailey. Makes the catch. Slipped away from Marley, but not away from Dexter Siegler. Lucas. Keeper. Gets in. Touchdown, Rutgers. Ray Lucas with his fifth rushing touchdown. And he gets the Scarlet Knights into the end zone with 49 seconds left in the first half. 32 of 35 this year. Out of the hold of Brian Forte into the net. It's good. So with 49 seconds to go in the second quarter, Rutgers has narrowed the margin to three. Starting time for that game to be determined. ESPN thinking about picking up that game. So it may be moved to nighttime. See what Ryan Collins has in store on first and ten. At the shotgun, he has Tellison to the bottom of your screen. Jones and Jonathan Harris to the right. And this one incomplete. Caught up in Collins in the Miami offense. Second and ten. Looking deep for Jamie German. German makes the catch. Great his receiver a one-on-one -on -one jump ball and here you see Jamie German wins the jump ball each week we see why the hurricane staff is so excited about this young kid because somewhere during the course of the ball game he will normally make a big play for you first and 10 33 seconds left in the first half Collins throws it incomplete to stop the clock 13 to 10 and Ryan Collins would love to put a touchdown on the board here with just 27 seconds left in the half James Stewart up the middle, inside the 30 to the 27-yard line. The third down situation here. Down and four, but the Rutgers 28. Collins, wide open, Jonathan Harris. First down, he gets to the 10-yard line. Ten seconds, clock running, and Collins stops it with a Jamie German to the bottom of your screen. And Chris T. Jones to the top. Collins for Harris. Turns the corner and gets out of bounds at the three-yard line. This will be a 20-yard field goal attempt for Pruitt, the sophomore from Birmingham, Alabama. You see the angle as well as he does. Final play of the 
first half. The Hurricanes trailed in this game three to nothing early in the second quarter. They take a 16 to 10 lead into the dressing room halfway through at the Orange Bowl today. Hurricanes picked up a season high 516 yards of offense last week at Pittsburgh. Siegler on the back pedal. He'll have to down this, and Miami will take it. Donnell Bennett, the single back behind Ryan Collins. Collins on the roll, being pursued, incomplete, intended for Dietrich Clausel. It was just him not setting his feet and squaring his shoulders before he threw the football. Second down and 10, blitz coming, and Chris Jones makes the catch. First down, Jones spinning ahead to the 38-yard line. Jones to the bottom of your picture. German in the middle. This is James Stewart. Nice run off left tackle following the block, but goes 250 pounds. This is Larry Jones, the junior from Gainesville, has the first down. He's in the Rutgers territory at the 46-yard line. Same thing with Memphis State, and then next year, when the home opener get a chance to tie the, to, to break the record. On first down, Collins looking to throw, has time, and has a man, Chris Jones, who skips out. He's been Miami's top pass catcher this year. This is Donnell Bennett, doesn't get much, just a yard at the Rutgers 25-yard line. Jamie German to the top. One setback is Bennett. Third drop for Collins. Has Harris. Harris cuts in to the 15-yard line. And first and 10 there. So that was a 14-yard hookup. This is James Stewart. Reads his blocks well straight ahead to the five-yard line. Six-yard gain began at their 20-yard line. Second down, goal to go from the four. Jones won't get back to the line of scrimmage. The Rutgers six-yard line, third down and five for the Canes. Collins, under a rush, tucks it in, and he'll be shy of the first down to get Miami going in the second quarter. Derek Harris, the lone setback on first and goal. Harris straight ahead, but he won't get in. The Irish will go to number one, and Miami has a chance to move up to number two, but they haven't shown an impressive uh, game so far. James Stewart heading for the end zone. Doesn't get there. Tripped up there to meet Stewart. This will be the 12th play of this drive, and it's a touchdown for Miami. going for two. Collins out of the shotgun. Collins for German. And they connect. So the two-point conversion successful. There's your hookup of the future. Ryan Collins, Jamie German. You, you've just said a mouthful. And the Hurricanes, by two touchdowns, will be right back. And Ryan Collins, what can you say about a young man that some thought would never really get to play quarterback at Miami? He's probably the only guy that didn't feel that way. Well, he showed a lot of patience and didn't give up on himself. And This is Ray Lucas, the sophomore quarterback. In the first half, he was 6 of 13. Presley rips away from a couple of tackles, but Robert Bass, a 6-foot, 5-inch junior out of Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, checks in. Second and 7. Lucas, deep drop. And has his man. First down for Lance Avina. But Doug Graber told us this week that Lucas is firmly our number one man now. Bruce Presley, just a yard off right tackle. And, and he gets the starting job back. Well, that's the way it's always been with, with Hurricane football is where you do not lose your starting job by getting injured. And as a freshman, you know that your day is going to come. It forced other people to beat him. 7.42 left third quarter. On third and three, this is Terrell Willis. Bounces outside, has the first down. And he's run out by Paul White, seventh leading rusher in the country. And number two in all-purpose yards. 185 yards a game accounted for by this man. Number 31, a dasher and a darter, Terrell Willis. Willis had 158 yards at West Virginia last Saturday. Second down and six, and 
Ray Lucas tries Willis again and nothing doing this time. Miami leading it 24 to 10. This is third and seven for Rutgers. Lucas over the middle, incomplete. Intended for Mario Henry. The nailed one from 52 yards in the second quarter. And guess what? Out of the hold of Brian Forte, he will try it again from just a little more than 52 yards. This one, no good. Looked like it had the distance, but hooked to the left with that wind at his back. Trying to get some of that Florida talent. Can't blame them. First down for Miami, their 35-yard line. Collins going deep for Tellison. This one overthrown. Collins 10 for 19, 207 yards and a touchdown. Here's Stewart turning it upfield and coming very close to the 45-yard line now across. Five and a half minutes to play in the third quarter. The Hurricanes on top by 14. This is Bennett. He runs right over the top. Second and seven from the 48. Spells putting the heat on Collins. Looking for Daphnis. Oh, ball was right there. But it's third down and seven. Collins going to sprint for it and get it. Collins still on his feet. Over 30 yard line. An 18-yard scramble. 39 yards rushing, including a touchdown. He's also thrown for a touchdown today. Collins, the quick strike. Incomplete. Intended for Chris Jones running the slant. A point guard has to do that. So does a quarterback. 422 left, third quarter, second and ten. Collins going for the end zone. And Tellison, great catch. No, he lost it. Tellison in between. With six. Third down and ten at the Rutgers 30. Here comes the rush, and Collins is decked. The right outside linebacker, Bob Sneathan. He's a second-year starter, Sneathan. Mike Chrissy under a rush, and against the win, hangs it high for Chris Brantley. And do almost the same on their second possession. Well, they're doing a better job of running the football. Tell him to pack the winter clothes when we go north now. Well, you know, Joe, Joe's one of those guys that uh, he thinks he's always in Florida. And he's a <laughs> California boy. First down and 10 for Rutgers. Their 28-yard line. Two and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Lucas down the middle for his tight end. Just out of the reach of Marco Battaglia coming in his senior season. Second and 10. Here's Presley bouncing it outside. And doesn't even get back. Third down and 10 for Rutgers. Lucas again on the sideline. Overthrows Chris Brantley down to take on West Virginia in a big showdown of unbeatens next Saturday. Fair catch for German at the 30-yard line. The moon over Miami as you can see the lights of the city off in the near distance. First and 10, Collins nearly picked off. Chris Jones, the intended receiver. Chris Jones, wide left at the top, German in the middle, and Jonathan Harris nearest to Ryan Collins. On setback is Bennett. He gets the delay, hurdles a man, breaks a tackle, and advances to the 37-yard line here in his junior season. On third and short, intercepted. Anthony Cawthon, a defensive end, picking it off out in the left flat. 52 seconds to play in the third quarter. The Scarlet Knights trailing by two touchdowns. Here's Willis, brought down. Shoot top tackle by Ray Lewis. He has started five games this year and is Miami's leading tackler. Second down and seven. The backup fullback, Wes Bridges. And that's the end of three quarters here at the Orange Bowl in Miami. We'll come back for quarter number four with the Canes leading by 14. It's going to be interesting, but Miami has to continue to win to even pose that problem. Terrell Willis on third down and three. No problems. Willis, the lone setback behind Ray Lucas, who has gone all the way at quarterback for Rutgers today. Lucas dodging his way to the 10 yard line and inside the 10 out of bounds first and goal at the Miami 9. 
This is Willis weaving his way to the seven yard line. They trail it 24 to 10 here, but they're threatening. Second and goal from the eight. Lucas rolling. Lucas throwing. Touchdown Rutgers. Mario Henry grabbing the eight yard touchdown. Mario Henry did, did a good job that time of finding the open spot in the end zone as he slid behind Terrell, uh, Terrace Harris. Who pops the point after through? Well, Miami had given up just 16 points in their four previous Big East games. Today, Rutgers has pasted 17 on the Orange Bowl scoreboard. Back for more in a moment. Dexter Siegler to the right. Jonathan Harris also back as Benestad hits it end over end. This is Siegler from the four. Dexter Siegler running it back to the 28-yard line. Offensively, you've got to take charge when the defense is having a tough day. It's up to the offense to put more points on the board and help you win the football game. Donnell Bennett tripped up. By ball at the Hurricane, 31. Miami leading by just seven points. Ryan Collins has gone all the way to the Canes at quarterback, and he is brought down back at the 25-yard line. Out of the shotgun, Collins aiming it for Chris Jones. That is a huge first-down pickup and nearly went all the way. From midfield, first-down give is to James Stewart, and he cannot turn it upfield. Second down and 10 for the Canes. Collins standing in. Great catch by Jamie German. Ryan Collins put it right there. First and 10 for Miami at the Rutgers 32. Collins wants more. And Collins gets more. A.C. Tellison skipping out. First down and 10 for Miami at the Scarlet Knights 15. This is James Stewart. Ripped away from number 23, Mark Washington. Donnell Bennett. He blasted through the hole on the right side. Harris, the up man in the slot right. On third and one. And Bennett may be short. That's big play here. Fourth down, less than a yard at the Rutgers six. for the first down. First down and goal at the four-yard line. Again, Derek Harris, the lone setback. Collins firing, touchdown. Touchdown Miami, and the first career touchdown for Gerard Daphnis. Ryan Collins is just a magician with the football. Meaningful touchdown for Miami. Rutgers had closed it down with just a seven-point lead, but the Canes go marching and scoring, and they lead it 31 to 17. Oh. So that's 31 to 17. Little bit of breathing room for the Hurricanes. This is Terrell Willis from the five. Up the middle, big yards, and look at the freshman go. Al Shipman giving chase, and Shipman running Willis out. After a 51-yard kickoff return, and I think you're getting the idea. He's a talented first-year player. Bruce Presley met right at the line of scrimmage. But second down, 11 for Rutgers. Out of the shotgun, Lucas retreats. The screen to Presley. Bruce Pe Presley still on his feet, finally dropped. Again by Patrick Riley. Presley Holding and Terrell Willis. I guess the, the offense, shame of it all for Rutgers. Ten yards, the best the pile, two offensive play, players. Well, the six penalties have been costly for the Scarlet Knights. They have it now. Second down and 28. Would have been first and 10. And Patrick Riley playing in another gear right now. Uh, when everything's on the line, you got to be day in and day out. Good luck to you in Detroit. Thank you. All right, back up to you guys. Third down and 31, and Ray Lucas gets only a little bit of it back. Half the burners and get up field. Bouncing ball. German not likely to touch it. And it is down inside the Miami 20-yard line and will help define this season for Miami, Nat. Well, next week is a victory that they've got to have if they want to stand to hunt for the national championship. 15th completion of the day for Ryan Collins. 
to James Stewart. He's getting out there, and he's able to utilize his speed for big gains. Pretty good numbers for Collins today in just his fourth start. Thrown for two scores, run for another. On first down, Donnell Bennett's turn. And he is banged around up at just five and a half minutes to go in our game tonight. Hope you've enjoyed the coverage here on Sunshine Network. James Stewart weaving through, breaking a tackle. And look at the big man rumble. Come on. The Rutgers 39-yard line. 103 yards rushing. He's just a yard shy of his single game best. And to run on first down, and Jonathan Harris had to go deep into the backfield and only gets a couple of yards. Second down, nine for Miami. From the 38. Collins rolling. Delivering. Jones out there, but it's picked off. Curtis Trivet intercepted it, and if Collins threw it a few yards higher. Coming into the lane between you and the football, you know you've got to get there. On first down, Terrell Willis, second and six. 325 left here in the game. This is Willis again. This time he runs into Ray Lewis. Still handling the ball off down on your own three-yard line instead of putting the ball in the air. I mean, when, when are you going to abandon the run and throw the football? Right now, and throwing it right to the Rutgers bench. Kevin Patrick in hot pursuit. Bad punt. Which takes a good Rutgers bounce. To the 41-yard line. He's thrown for two touchdowns and run for another. On first down, Collins being chased. Collins going to keep it, get by Spells, and drag a man to the 33-yard line. Only his fourth start, the sky the limit for Ryan Collins next two years. James Stewart trying to turn it upfield, cannot. Good pursuit by the Rutgers defense. Ball at the Rutgers, 36 complete for a first down Gerard Daphnis Steve LeBeau and Jeff McCain up here with us along with Kerry Coe we thank all of them for their great help this season Stewart going the wrong way and he is brought down back at the 31 yard line no question one of the premier college football programs in America our privilege to help bring it to you on L Bennett on second and 14, his college career began, and he comes back riding the bench. Come back riding the bench as well as injured and not having the opportunity to play. A few years back with Toretta. Well, I think anytime you're looking for your quarterback, you're looking for your leader, there's quite a few things that take, take precedence over the throwing, and that's the ability to lead and Gino Toretta did a great job of that. We're seeing this young kid, Ryan Collins, do the same thing. And our hat have to be off to Dennis Erickson for knowing what it takes to keep a program winning the way he's done. Well, Dennis Erickson and Doug Graber shake hands. Dennis Erickson stays perfect at the Orange Bowl and unblemished in November. 31-17, your final score.